Hello guys, back with another video. This will be a second one coming out this weekend. Uh, what we got here is a custom chassis we built. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a truck. And this project build is going to be called Project Frankenbeast. Because just about everyone has a Frankenstein build. Well, why not Frankenbeast? So what we've done is we've made our own chassis from pipe. We pretty much just bent pipe, and we have it together here in the back with this temporarily. Everything you see here is temporarily on there. It's not like it's going to be final, because as you can see, we have everything held together with bread ties on it. Uh, pretty much what we have on it is the axles are from the axial wraith we have, which we're project late, which right now it's in project stage, which we're making project green. You guys probably know of it, if you watch the channel a lot. And the, pretty much we got metal, I mean aluminum rears for it. So we're using the axles off of the stock wraith on this and the links and everything. Uh, we're going to be putting uh, mud flingers on it. Like what we showed you what we're putting on Project Green. We're going to be putting on, we're going to be getting another set to put on here. Pretty much what we're planning on doing is this right here. That's just a random part we have left over from stuff. We're pretty much going to have a metal plate sitting right here. And we're going to have our transmission and everything mounted there. We're going to have a spot up here in the front for the battery to mount. Uh, we're going to have drive shafts coming down to the axles. Which right now the axles have a pretty good uh, angle to it to go straight up to the transmission. And then we're going to add a couple of crossbars in here and everything. We're, it's going to turn out to be like a mud truck. You can just Google mud truck on the internet and everything. And what we're going to turn into is one of the really tall mud trucks. We're going to have cross mounts in here. We're go it's going to end up being flat. And we have a Chevy body that we got not too long ago that we believe will fit it. Because... Uh, what we were going to do is we were going to put it on the Wraith, but it turned out being too small. Because apparently it's more like 1 16th scale, kind of. And what we're going to be doing is putting it on here. Because if you look up uh, mud trucks on the internet, the bodies never really line up with the wheelbase on them and everything. So it's going to look pretty cool with a Chevy body on there. It's pretty much going to be a fully custom built truck. It's all going to be built by hand, everything. So right now, we're pretty much in the beginning stage of engineering it all together and everything. So just wanted to do an introduction to this project slash build. And just wanted to put up another video because I haven't done a couple videos in a while. So that's pretty much a new build we're going to be doing because it's winter times here and everything. Plus, it'll be something cool. We'll be doing during Christmas week when everyone has off and everything. You guys can come on, do something, just watch a couple cool things being built and everything. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully we'll be having another Project Green video coming up soon. Because we need to start working on the Wraith again now that we got most of the parts in. We got everything but shocks and body because we're not sure what we're going to use yet. Another thing for the race, if you guys find anything on the internet or if you guys have some kind of body that you'll be willing to sell that'll fit the axial race, we're looking for a Chevy body to fit it because we just want it to look cool. We don't want the uh, stock look to the race. We want something different for it. So hopefully another Project Green video will be coming out. And the new truck we got, the Vatera Chevy Ascender. Hopefully we'll be doing a couple more running videos of that. And just to tell you, a recap of the last video on that, it's a pretty nice truck. It made over just about everything we had to offer it to do. And the things I couldn't do was stuff that just about all the trucks we had couldn't do either. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully we'll have another video coming up soon. So that's pretty much it. Bye. Catch you guys on the next video.